I'm Kira. You might remember me from such films as AIDS, What's That? and HIVs. How'd I get that? But today, folks, we're going to be talking about a serious matter. Whooping cough. <gasps> What's whooping cough? Now let's go to our scientist, Jenna Short. Whooping cough? Scientifically known as Bordetella cortusis. Thank you, Dr. Short, for that beautiful information. Now let's go back to Jenna Short, talking about transmission. Oh, hello again. Now we're going to talk about transmission. The host, always humans, especially small children and infants. Cortosis the disease attacks the host cell through the airborne respiratory route. There is a secondary attack rate of 80%. Watch out. Wow, thanks for that fascinating information, Jenna Short. Now, we're going to hear from a mother firsthand about the symptoms of the deadly disease, whooping cough. <laughs> Today? Yes, miss. We're, we're doing it right now. Okay. Could, could you put your Bacardi away, please? No. Okay, okay, let's just do it. Go. Well, my little Olivia woke up one morning with the, with the normal flu symptoms. You know, like the coughing, the snotty nose the sore throat. So I took it to the doctor, of course. But then it got worse. It just started, it just, after two weeks, it just started whooping, like whoop, 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 like a walrus. It was, it was crazy. So. Now let's go firsthand with this whooping cough. We have two children who are deadly infected with this horrible disease. Warning. These images are not suited for all viewers. Viewer discretion is advised. <coughs> How can you treat her? Oh, hello. For treatment for pertussis, there are several vaccines such as erythromycin and azithromycin. These vaccines do not stop whooping cough, but they will alter the infectious periods. Thanks, Jenna, for that interesting information. Now, I need to know, how can I stop this disease from getting to me and my children? Well, prevention is much more simpler than you would think it is. Just wash your hands and stay the hell away from people who keep coughing all the time. During the incubation period of 7 to 21 days, you can even stay in an oxygen tank with high humidity, which will decrease symptomatic distress. One in three children of the age 19 to 35 months gets whooping cough. <laughs> oh, thanks for that wonderful information. Now, tune in next week for our segment on gonorrhea. Ouch. Let's just have a special thanks to Dr. Short, Crazy Junk Mom, and Sick Kids. Thanks, guys. Have a good night.